Oh man, E Kings Fight News. And let me get into this real quick. This is why I ain't buying no DAZN anytime soon. E Kings Fight News, let's get it. All right, you already know E Kings Fight News. So Eddie Hearn has found himself in a conundrum. He's found himself in a spot where he's gonna have to, he's gonna have to give Danny Jacobs a big ass bag if he wants to hold on to that title. Um, especially when it comes to uh, the middleweight division. And what I mean by that is, Danny Jacobs is looking to fight Canelo Alvarez. Point blank period. I don't think he's looking for any other of these fighters. When it comes to Charlo, he's talking like it, but ain't like he's signing a Showtime, right? He's 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 keeping his mouth shut, and the only person he's gonna be on the same page with is your boy Alan Heyman. That's fact. That's facts, guys. And Eddie Hearn, you know, he's done well with the parts he's been able to get. And I'm talking about, you know, these, these mid-tier fighters. He's gotten a whole lot of mid-tier fighters to put on these zone cards. He's got a whole lot of mid-tier fighters. Eddie Hearn has built his whole promotion on mid-tier fighters, to be honest. And, and a handful... Of, of, of the elite fighters out here. And when I say a handful, I mean, Eddie Hearn, you know, if he didn't have Carl Froch, I don't know where Matchroom would be. I really don't. If Eddie Hearn didn't have George Groves versus Carl Froch, I don't know where Matchroom would be right now. Right? Because that's the fight that really uh, took the UK by storm. That's the fight. It's Carl Frosch versus George Grove. If he never put that fight on, I, I, I don't know where Eddie Hearn would be right now. <laughs> I don't know where he would be. He, he'd be right where fucking Mick Hennessy is and shit. Fucking, uh, what Frank Warren is in the UK. He'd be right, right at that level. But, Eddie Hearn's working on the expansion. <laughs> and, and the thing is, the real problem with what DAZN, this is the truth, this is real shit. The real problem with the zone is they cannot deliver a great card on a monthly basis. They can't do it, they don't have the fighters, right? They can make a whole lot of bum bashes, a whole lot of mismatches. Right, they can maneuver their fighters around, like like with this Bogan Dinu guy fighting Jarrell Miller, and, and and them Eddie Hearn supporters are gonna act like like this guy Dinu Bogan Dinu is the truth or some shit. Like, oh, it's gonna be a great fight. Jarrell Miller is gonna eat supper <laughs> once again on the zone, like some bullshit like that. But but let's be real here. I would be the first one bigging up the zone if, if they if they were providing great fights on a month-to-month -month basis. You're telling me, you're telling me the zone's gonna charge me a $20 subscription, and the best fight I'm gonna see this month is now you're in a way. Oh, it's not even gonna be in a way. It's gonna be Nonino Donaire versus Brian Burnett or some shit. Is that going to be the best fight I see all month on the zone? Oh no, it's going to be um, it's going to be uh, Walter K versus Demetrius Andre. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Like for real? Oh, oh, but next month they got yo, they got Luis Arias versus Gabe Rosado. I gotta buy that shit, right? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, man. These are some Friday night fights on ESPN shit, and they're, they're trying to get me to pay $20 for it. Like, yo, yo, this is the difference 
between um, Eddie Hearn and, and a real streaming platform. And, and I'm going to bring this example to the forefront. Uh, wrestling, right? The World Wrestling Entertainment, they got the WWE Network. And the difference is they put on, they, they've eliminated their pay-per-views. Uh, completely and put everything on the WWE Network, right? They and they have two pay-per-views per month, and, and sometimes they got some other special shows, and they got it all on the WWE Network, right? And they got their own network programming, whatever the fuck, right? But but my point behind that is. If you watch that WWE Network, you're going to see all the best that the WWE has to offer. Uh, and at least twice a month, you're going to get a pay-per-view event. Right? Or you're going to get at least one per month. That would be considered a pay-per-view. But you got the network for what? $9.99. It's actually $10. I think it's about the same price that the zone has put itself at. Oddly enough. And, and really, we're not getting what the best matchups on a month-to-month -month basis. If they could do that, I would be bigging them up. I'd be like, yo, let's get it. Eddie Hearn, whatever, perform group, whoever's behind it, whoever's making the fights. Yo, shout out to them. They, they, they're doing boxing right. Right? That's the whole point. They're doing the sport right. They're growing it. They're building a new network, and that's legit. That would be that would be amazing. But the unfortunate part about it is no one wants to see Jarrell Miller versus Bogan Dinu on a main event. No one wants to see Luis Arias versus fucking Gabe Rosado. Yeah, they got the Clarissa Shields fight. Is that the main event? No, it's gonna be on the undercard somewhere. It's gonna be buried on the undercard. And I mean, okay, they got Clarissa Shields. Am I paying $20 to see one Clarissa Shields fight? When, when I saw that for free on Showtime. You guys tell me. And all, I, I hate these fucking, these dudes from the UK that support Eddie Hearn. Yet, if, if, if Eddie Hearn had the zone in the UK, would they even buy that shit? I, 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 I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it. You know? But it is what it is. It is what it is, man. Anyways. And I mean, yeah, okay. The one thing the zone is doing is they're giving you a ton of they're giving you a ton of content. But it's like low quality content. Right? They're giving you a ton of fights. But the, 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 it's, it's a bunch of fights that, like, it, it's, it's a bunch of fights that no one's asking for. No one's asking for fucking, you know, um, no, no one was asking for, you know, Pro Grace versus Flanagan. I don't know who asked for that shit, right? Pro Grace entered the tournament, right? It's not like it's going to be far undisputed. But Progray enter the tournament and he'll probably win the shit. I mean, the real fight that's worth a couple dollars is when Progray steps up and fights uh, Josh Taylor. That one's going to be worth a couple dollars. Otherwise, I mean, it ain't really shit to me, man. That, 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 Continue on St. Clair Avenue East. There's no real Columbus. fight that's worth anything right now on the zone. There's no fights worth any any fucking dollars right now. The only fight that's really worth something to me is Regis Progray versus Josh Taylor and Inouye versus Tay Tay in the finals. And that's my that's why I'm expecting in the finals of the World Boxing Super Series. I'm expecting Josh Taylor versus Progray and Inouye versus Tay Tay. If 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 those two final matches happen. Shit, I'm buying the heck out of that. I'm buy I'm buying that shit. But until then, yo, 
<laughs> Yo, it's, it, it is what it is. Until then, it is what it is. And I ain't buying this shit at all. Not a chance. Not a chance. And that's just keeping it 100, man. Like, like what more can I say? That's me keeping it 100. How can I buy this shit if... If, if I can if I can get this shit free on live stream, like, well, why the fuck am I paying? I'll support Regis Programmers Josh Taylor, cause that's a great fight. That's a great fight, and I want to see that in the best quality possible, and I want to see that on a live feed, you know, not on some delay shit, where it could buffer, it could lag out, and I could I could lose the stream very easily. Now I'll buy that one. Programmers Taylor, if they deliver on that fight. Yo, that, that's gonna be dope. And what's funny is Eddie Hurt ain't even involved in that shit. And I'll be like, okay, man, I'll, I'll buy this one. Because it is what it is. That's, that's, that's the World Boxing Super Series. That's the one thing they deliver on is, is when they get down to the finals, you know, that's gonna be the best fight and the best. But when it comes to that, down these Eddie Hurt cards, man, I wouldn't pay for any of these cards, man. What the fuck? They got Bogan Dinu versus Jarrell Miller. Like, for real. Like, that really sounds like some shit I'd be watching on ESPN Friday Night Fights. I'm not even playing. <laughs> that sounds like some HBO boxing after dark shit. And I even I think that shit's a step above. But E-King Fighting, let me know what you guys think. Has anybody bought The Zone? The only person I know that, that's literally bought the zone and is proud of it is, is T-Street. I don't know anyone else that's bought the zone and been like, oh, this, this, is, this is the shit. <laughs> this, is, this is totally worth it. So E-King Fighting, let me know if you've bought the zone, if you plan on buying it, and what fight is it going to take for you to, for you to uh, get the zone. E-King Fighting, and we're out.